Introduce yourself. So yes, uh, hi, my name's Antonio Roberts. I'm an artist based in Birmingham, and I primarily use glitch art and glitch art techniques to kind of talk about issues of uh, cultural appropriation. So tell me what glitch art is. So glitch art is essentially making art from errors. So if you've ever seen any sort of broken televisions or things that are just breaking a little bit, even skipping CDs, uh, I use those techniques to make up my artwork, basically. So what form does it take? Uh, usually it's video art, visual art, um, projections, uh, but sometimes it is the devices themselves. So say you might have a piece of hardware which I modify by opening it up and kind of like messing around with all the wires a little bit. And yeah, that sometimes takes that form as well. And what are you doing that's relating to the Basquiat exhibition? So I'm involved in the uh, Basquiat Day, which is Too Young for What, on 7th of October. And I'm going to be working with another artist to essentially do kind of like a, a live drawing incorporates live drawing but also digital art as well so um, I'm basically doing some live glitches of things that are happening in the space um, incorporating things that people are so participate people can participate as well but also responding to what the live artist is drawing on. so what form will it take uh, so I'm going to be doing projection um, well the projections will be <laughs> on there and on I'll a be single going, screen yeah yeah single screen projection and I'll be drawing on the computer and it will be glitching at the same time so you draw using found materials or like like on screen how does that work so yeah on screen I'm going to be using a variety of techniques so I'm even using like kind of like a hacked video mixer which will take in video input but also yeah transform it in ways and make it look very distorted but uh, yeah that'll be um, mapped onto the wall in some way but I'm also going to be using the software with the drawing to respond to what's there it's kind of hard to describe but hopefully you'll be able to see it cool sounds amazing cool look forward to seeing it yay so that's on the 7th of 7th October, October. Um, I've forgotten the times I've actually got it in my hands from 2 till 6 and it's a full day of activities isn't yeah it? yeah so, so um, yeah. full day of activities and there's, I know, there's poetry as well, and lots of live art happening. Hopefully you'll get to talk to the artists who are doing that. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, again, I'm looking forward to do, uh, being part of it because uh, like, as a digital artist, it's a new um, way of working. And I know, for, I know like, drawing parallels and you know, the way he was working, even like how he was formally trained, but he made his own way into the art world also by defining his own pathway into it and designing his own genre so hopefully what I do is somewhat reflecting on that but also for those who are younger and growing up with doing new practices it might inspire them to see how it works its way in as well cool so how do you do you collaborate with other people on projects or me yes yeah. personally I so I'm often working with musicians performers um, it's never just a solitary process so what artists have you worked with that we might know <laughs> what artists I've worked with um, it's largely been actually in the states uh, that I've been working there's a glitch art scene there so I'm a big fan of the work of uh, Nick Rees and uh, I've performed alongside him um, worked with musicians so, so, um, recently actually I did visuals for Steve Davis if you know him the snooker the player snooker turned player, yeah. DJ that yeah. was um, a really I did a festival with him recently yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so did that uh, performed at Supersonic Festival in Birmingham again doing visuals uh, part of the Algo Rave scene if you've heard about people making music from programming and performed with them at um, Blue Dot Festival and Green Man Festival recently so yeah it's, it's, it's very much a collaborative process even though it might start off solitary like working behind a computer but it always has performative aspects and performative uh, and do you make content. products that you sell like I, around it how I, I do how do you finance it how does uh, it work <laughs> so I don't personally make any products uh, it's just my way of working uh, but I make mostly make my money basically through being commissioned to make artworks um, often working within the gallery sector um, again on stage and that's how I um, do that, uh, that great thank you Antonio Antonio Roberts Roberts brilliant yeah. nice to meet you thank Good you to meet you as well yeah.